oh wow, you've seen the title, so uh, what's happening? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The HO Show, I am your host, and yes, we are 3D printing marble. This filament is made by Aaron. This is not a promotional video. If I have read this wrong, then I do apologize. Aaron? I Aaron? Aaron? Okay, anyways, moving on. This is the filament. As you can see here, it's 30% marble mineral, 70% PLA plastic. I really like the packaging. It's tightly sealed. It's vacuumed from all air, so this is something good to look at. Um, which you have some issues with PLA. If you leave PLA out for a month, two months, three months, it will snap. And that's because air will be accumulated with the plastic and it will crack from inside, allowing the uh, PLA plastic to snap in half while printing. And that's really, really annoying. Um, due to me not having a sensor on my 3D printer, um, that can be a hassle. You find your 3D printer printing emptiness into the air. Nothing. Just nothing. Alright, so let's get crack on and find out how this prints. So excited to use it. Um, let's do it. So I went ahead and printed out a pillar, as you can see here. Just wanted to see what it looks like in the final outcome and what it feels like. Now, feeling wise, it's plastic. There's no weight to it. In terms of the look, it does not look like marble, but it looks like stone. If you want to go for the stone vibe, then this is the way to go. I don't want to leave you with just a pillar. Um, I want to experiment something bigger and more in detail. So let's print something grand, shall we? I seriously can't believe it. In just three quarters of a day, this has been printed. This comes in two pieces, so you have to print the bust first, and of course you have the base. But to be honest with you, the detail on this is substantial. Um, I mean, the design itself is supreme, of course. But the details, on this, this is the first filament that I have experimented with and experienced that does not leave print lines. And if I leave it there uh, 30 centimeters away from my eyes, you can't even see any single line. Literally, you will think this is carved out of stone. Honestly, honestly, it's a shame I mentioned as mentioned you can't have the marble effect, but th This as a stone. It's amazing You would automatically think that this has been carved out of stone from far away from 40 centimeters away uh, 50 centimeters away. I can't stop thinking about how the print came out. I mean down to the teeth So this this is how it is. I mean the detail on this is really amazing this is it with the base as you can see here i mean um the structure of this it's really nice um which i did not realize <laughs> you can see the uh, um, the makers they've listed their website here 
I don't know if you see it right here. It's really interesting how they managed to get away with this. This print came out really gorgeous. I'm really, pr I'm really proud of this uh, filament and how they have managed to do this. No, no tangling, so that's a good thing to look out for. As mentioned, I keep mentioning this, wow. Uh, it just does not look like a marble, it looks like stone. But if that's what you're going with, just go for it. This is not as far as it goes. I'm still looking to purchase uh, wood filament, aluminum filament, and uh, I, I mean, wherever there is. I'm still going to look at different type of marble filaments, different brandings, maybe it will have the effect of marble rather than stone. As far as we go, this is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed the experience. If you haven't uh, bought a marble filament, just go for it and uh, I'm sure you'll have a uh, really, really a wonderful experience with it. Other than that, thank you for watching and please do not forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. Oh, before I go, I will list the uh, Batman bust as well as the filament and the pillar in the description down below. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and peace out.